Hello and welcome to another edition of How To K2. In our last video, we stepped through a process in the Visual Studio Debugger. Today, we're going to do the same thing with a service broker. The first thing we need to do is open our custom service broker solution inside of Visual Studio. In this case, we're going to use the dynamic SQL service that's available on the black market. Once open, we need to attach to the K2 host server process. We'll do that and find our K2 host server in here. Once we find it in the list, we select it, there it is, and attach. Make sure we confirm the attachment. Now we need to set a breakpoint. There we go. At this point, we need to go to Workspace and create a new instance. This will cause the service broker to break at our point we inserted the breakpoint. We'll put in the various system specific information here and it breaks. At this point we can go ahead and step through our code and debug it. Well that's all. This video showed you how the Visual Studio debugger can be utilized to debug a custom K2 service broker. In our scenario, the configuration method was debugged so that K2 workspace could be used to trigger the debugging event, as opposed to an actual create or update method. In some environments, you may need to enable remote debugging. That's all for today. Thank you very much.